welcome to the Slingshot channel. We like shooting Lego bricks because they are so hard and funny. And uh, I built several weapons that shoot it, like this pistol, muzzle loading, clamps in the projectile, and firing quite hard. Ooh. <laughs> I even made a rifle for more power and reach. Here is the rifle, quite nice. Functions the same way. Muzzle loading. And with this clamp. And then it fires at about 65 meters per second. Whoa! <laughs> hard! But not hard enough. We have to look for a different concept how to shoot this even harder to scientifically test how the destruction potential really is. One of the things that spring to mind is why not using them as ammo for a blowgun. So I got myself this 2 meter aluminum tube and actually it is quite fitting. It is a perfect match for the 16 by 16 millimeter Lego bricks. See how tight it is? And it shoots fine. Let's try it. Yeah, a shot. Of course a blowgun needs blowgun ammo, so using these Legos as a sabot and this mean nail in the front. Let's see if we get, get it sticking into the shed wall. Sure can. So this seems to be a rather effective way to shoot them, although with just a uh, lung-powered uh, blowgun I don't think we can even come close to the power of the rubber guns. What we would have to do is build an air gun with a barrel like this. Problem is that, of course, now I'm shooting a projectile through a barrel, which is legal in terms of a blowgun here, but not as soon as I attach a trigger system. So uh, I can't make a weapon out of this for legal reasons, but what I can do is I can build a scientific test device, because that is not considered a weapon either. So can't be a weapon, must be a scientific test device, probably bench mounted and done for video analysis. But what I need to find out, what the challenge is, can we shoot a Lego brick at supersonic speed? And if we can, what kind of damage can it cause? And here is what I came up with. Meet the supersonic Lego test device. <laughs> Let me show you its features. As you see, it is powered by a compressor that can generate up to 4,500 PSI. So this is no car compressor, it's many, many times stronger than that. And it pumps up the compression chamber, which is this little steel tube here. And this is a check valve that prevents that the air can come out. So it can only go in, but not out again. Then we have a ball valve. It's this piece here, the standard ball valve. I know you're going to say it doesn't have enough pressure and maybe it breaks. I don't give much about it. And uh, I attached this lever to it um, because this is controlled by a trigger device. The whole thing can be set under pressure with rubber bands that are hooked in over here. And once I open the trigger, the rubber will kick open the ball valve in no time. And that will uh, violently release the air pressure trapped in this steel tube. And then the Lego brick will be accelerated down the barrel, which is two meters long, hitting a target in here. Now you can open the breech by lifting up this lever, pulling back the tube. And then you can see that the breech, exactly the right size for the Lego, is opening. And when I put in the Lego, I close the whole thing again and the system is locked. Now we have closed the valve and the compressor is putting in a total of 250. Here is our first test candidate. A coconut, what else? Now we're loading in a single Lego brick. Okay, and close it. Okay, the rubber bands are cocked, the pressure is there, the coconut is loaded, let's go. And It was an older coconut, so you can see it's a little moldy, but it totally destroyed it. <laughs> in the slow-mo we could clearly see that the Lego brick actually exploded when it hit the coconut, but it still had enough impact to shatter the coconut entirely. So probably if we use two of the Lego bricks, one following the other, 
then the uh, impact will be even more devastating. Now first what I want to find out is, is this really supersonic? And um, actually on the first test shot against the coconut, it was clear that there is a boom. And I think it is a supersonic boom. Because it doesn't happen when we fire the cannon without a LEGO projectile in it. And in fact then it cannot crack a coconut at all, as you can see here. But is it supersonic? It has to exceed about 342 meters per second for that purpose. And um, I've been firing a test shot and recording it at 2000 frames per second. And we can see here that from one frame to the next, it actually travels about 20 centimeters, as you can see on the ruler in the background. So 20 centimeters in uh, one frame out of 2000 per second converts to 400 meters per second projectile speed. So we are well above supersonic speed. Next opponent, Ballistic Gelatin. <laughs> and now we load in two of the Lego bricks. And here we... <laughs> Alright, here we can see what happened. The Lego bricks penetrated deep, deep into the gelatin. And then they popped out again. I think because of the spongy effect from the material. And of course, the entire block was shifted off the board and jumped away. Next challenge, we have the super cool motorbike helmet. Of course, I see no way that we can penetrate this with a Lego brick because it's too light and also not hard enough, since this really is crack proof. But we still have the blowgun projectile. So this is like armor piercing ammo for tanks, because my hope is that the uh, pointy nail is gonna penetrate and then it's gonna hammer against the Lego bricks here. And I think the Lego bricks will fall off, but who knows? Maybe the nail can continue to travel and uh, cause further damage. We'll find out. Whoa! <laughs> Amazing, it worked completely as expected. As you can see here, the Lego dart crashed against the backside of the helmet and actually the nail penetrated and it flew on and it actually then fired here through the gap of the visor and the helmet itself, damaging both. Amazing, unstoppable really. <laughs> Can you believe that? Motorcycle helmet crack with a Lego. Here you can see what it did to this one inch wooden board. Amazing. <laughs> By the way, this is how a Lego brick looks like that has just been pressed against a hard one inch thick wooden board. Isn't it amazing? <laughs> Okay, the scientific LEGO launcher. What did it prove? First of all, it proved that it is possible to bring up a LEGO brick to supersonic speed. Also, you know, it becomes quite clear that even a plastic thing, a light plastic thing like this, has enormous destruction potential once it's fast enough. But it also shows you that a fragile, small object is able to shatter something much bigger, much more solid, um, just as long as it's fast enough. 
So eat that, all your 9-11 conspiracy fools. <laughs> anyway, this is a blowgun again. I hope you like this because... That's it for today. <laughs> Thanks and bye-bye.